Hi, cruise bloggers. Welcome back. This one's for all of our carnival fans out there. Today, we're going to go through carnival cruise ship classes guide and explanation. So if you're looking to understand carnival's fleet, you've come to the right place. Let's get into it. If you're thinking of sailing with Carnival Cruise Line, but maybe you don't know which ship you want to book, you've come to the right place. Carnival Cruise considers its fleet to have the most fun ships at sea, so you're certainly in for a great time during your Carnival Cruise. With nonstop fun from the minute you step on board, you will love everything that Carnival has to offer on its cruise ships. Currently, Carnival operates 23 ships across its fleet, making it one of the biggest cruise lines in the world. These cruise ships are classified into eight different ship classes, each having their own special flair on the Carnival experience. Cruise Line's build multiple ships that are nearly identical in both size and design. These are classified as different ship classes for the cruise line's fleet. Built in similar time frame, each class of ships almost represents a snapshot in time with its design elements, amenities on board, and the technology capabilities. So now let's break down all eight of the cruise ship classes for Carnival Cruise Line. First, we'll start with the newest and biggest ships, the Excel class. This includes Carnival Mardi Gras, Carnival Celebration, and Carnival Jubilee, and these will be debuting between 2021 and 2023. As the newest class of ships for Carnival Cruise Line, the XL class is bringing the biggest changes to the cruise line's fleet. With a totally new design and a slew of incredible amenities, Carnival Mardi Gras competes with the biggest ships sailing by rival cruise lines. XL class ships all have a gross tonnage around 180,000 tons, making these by far the largest cruise ships sailing for Carnival. These ships are nearly 40% bigger than any other Carnival ship in the fleet, and they offer the most lounges, bars, and eateries of any Carnival ship. When it comes to passenger capacity, XL class ships can hold about 6,500 passengers if every bed on board is occupied. On average, you can expect to find about 5,000 passengers per sailing. In 2021, Carnival Mardi Gras made its highly anticipated debut and introduced the industry's first roller coaster at sea, named Bolt, the ultimate sea coaster. Additionally, Mardi Gras was the first LNG-powered cruise ship for Carnival, which is a much cleaner fuel alternative. Launching in November of 2022, Carnival Celebration will join the fleet as the cruise line's newest ship and the second ship in Carnival's newest fleet, the Excel class. And finally, Carnival Jubilee will debut as the third and final ship of the Excel class in 2023. Excel class ships are by and far the biggest ships in the Carnival fleet, so those who love sailing on mega ships will probably want to consider sailing on one of these massive Carnival ships. Also, those who prefer to sail in suites will appreciate the largest array of suites for the cruise line on board Excel class ships. These new ships for the Carnival Cruise Line feature new and fun eateries like Big Chicken at Sea, which is sponsored by Shaq O'Neill. Of course, these mega ships will have all of the Carnival classics like Guy's Burger Joint, Blue Iguana, along with a slew of specialty restaurants and even the very first restaurant created by Emeril Lagasse. Next up is the Vista class. The Vista class encompasses Carnival Vista, Carnival Horizon, and Carnival Panorama, and these ships were built between 2016 and 2019. So although the Excel class ships now take the cake when it comes to size, amenities, and design, Carnival's Vista class ships still have plenty of amenities, including a number of eateries, lounges, and bars. You can also find an entire top deck filled with attractions and knock your socks off fun. Although noticeably smaller than Excel class ships, Vista class ships can hold around 4,000 passengers and they weighed just 130,000 gross tons. In fact, the Vista class ships had their own set of firsts for the cruise industry. Carnival Panorama had the first trampoline park at sea through its partnership with Skyzone, while Carnival Vista and Horizon featured the first IMAX theaters at sea. Although Food Network star Guy Fieri has a fleet-wide partnership with Carnival Cruise Line, Vista class ships featured the first breweries and barbecue smokehouses at sea. Carnival Panorama and Horizon both include the complimentary Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse for fall off the bone barbecue. The smokehouse also offers freshly brewed beer that's created on site. Similarly, Carnival Vista has both a separate barbecue joint and a standalone brewery, which are very fun options for cruisers. And not to mention Vista class ships have a wide array of other dining options like Guy's Burger Joint, the Italian Eatery, Gigi, Asian Kitchen, Blue Iguana Cantina, a steakhouse, and a sushi restaurant. Sweet lovers will also appreciate the ahead of its time sweet section on these class of ships in the Havana Cabana and the Family Harbor, while fans of Dr. Seuss will love the themed water park on Carnival Horizon. 
Next up, we have the most unusual class in the Carnival Fleet, which is the Sunshine class. This includes Carnival Sunshine, Carnival Sunrise, and Carnival Radiance. Although these ships were some of the oldest vessels in Carnival's fleet, the cruise line opted to give all three ships in the Sunshine class a total makeover. This involved gutting each ship and almost completely rebuilding the vessel from the hole up, costing around $200 million each. So while these ships were built in 1996 and 2000, they were recently completely redone between 2013 and 2021. In fact, the makeovers were so substantial that Carnival opted to give each cruise ship an entirely new name from its former name. Nearly every area of the ship was redesigned, making this a huge overhaul for Carnival. Holding approximately 3,000 passengers, these vessels are about 40% smaller than the XL class ships. Interesting enough, Carnival Sunshine, which was then Carnival Destiny, was actually the biggest cruise ship in the world when it debuted in 1996. And in fact, it was the first cruise ship to weigh more than 100,000 gross tons in the cruise industry, which was a very big deal back then. During the renovations, the Sunshine class ships were upgraded to include notably missing Carnival signature amenities like a Serenity adults only area, a full blown water park, and a sports square on the top deck that features a basketball court, miniature golf, and a ropes course. This also included adding signature venues like the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, also included was a sushi outlet and an Italian eatery. Next up is the Dream Class, and this includes Carnival Dream, Carnival Magic, and Carnival Breeze. These ships were built between 2009 and 2012. Although smaller than the Vista Class ships, the Dream Class ships are largely the same, and cruisers will find a lot of similarities between the two classes. Dream Class ships each hold approximately 3,600 passengers, making them slightly smaller than the Vista Class ships. The Dream Class ships have a gross tonnage around 130,000 gross tons. Some of the amenities on Vista Class ships can also be found on on dream class ships. In fact, some of these signature amenities that have become very popular on the Vista class ships were first debuted during the dream class carnival era. So for example, Carnival Breeze features a 4D thrill theater. In addition, a top decks ropes course on Carnival Dream and Carnival Magic was a huge hit. The fun doesn't stop there though, as the top deck also features volleyball, miniature golf, basketball, and a whole sports court. And of course, no cruise ship is complete without having a pool and dream class ships have multiple pools on their top deck. So when it comes to dining, dream class ships also have plenty to choose from, from both complimentary and specialty options. Similar to the Vista class ships, dream class ships feature complimentary venues like Guy's Burger Joint and Blue Iguana Cantina. For specialty dining, you'll find a steakhouse and Italian eatery, which are available on all three ships. Next up is the unique class, the Splendor class, which includes only one ship, Carnival Splendor, which was built in 2009. You're probably wondering why there's only one cruise ship in this class. And that's a great question. Carnival Splendor was originally built and designed to sail for Carnival's sister company, Costa. Carnival Splendor was meant to be an additional ship in the Costa Concordia class, but instead it sailed under Carnival in a class all on its own. The ship was transferred from Costa to Carnival during the construction phase. Holding right around 3,000 passengers with a gross tonnage of around 113,000, Carnival Splendor is truly one of a kind. Even still, Carnival Splendor is very similar to ships in the Carnival Conquest class, which we'll go over next. Next, because it was built during the same time frame, although the biggest difference between Carnival Splendor and the other Conquest class ships is its redesigned top deck. The pool deck on Carnival Splendor has a glass Megrodome that can retract, which is notably absent on the other Conquest ships. Carnival Splendor also features a larger spa compared to Conquest ships and a top deck water park that can't be found on similar sister ships as well. So now let's get into the Conquest class of ships. This includes Carnival Conquest, Carnival Glory, Carnival Valor, Carnival Liberty, and Carnival Freedom. These were built between 2002 and 2007. And as one of the largest classes for Carnival, the Conquest ships are around 20% smaller than Vista and Dream Class ships. Don't worry though, these smaller ships still pack plenty of the cruise line's signature fun amenities and venues. Conquest class ships are considered small to midsize and they especially appeal to Carnival cruisers who don't want to sail with large crowds of other passengers. The modest size of Conquest class ships allow them to sail to smaller ports as well. Conquest class ships, which clock in around 110,000 gross tons, can hold around 2,900 passengers. Dining on Conquest class ships include fewer choices than the bigger and newer Carnival ships, but there's still plenty to choose from on board. You'll find Carnival classics like the Blue Iguana Cantina, Guy's Burger Joint, Pizza Pirate, Carnival Deli, and a Steakhouse. And in addition, Carnival Conquest class ships feature the Alchemy Bar and the Red Frog Rum Bar on the pool deck. 
Now let's move into the spirit class ships. This class includes Carnival Spirit, Carnival Pride, Carnival Legend, and Carnival Luminosa, which will be joining the fleet in 2022. The rest of the ships in the Spirit class were built between 2001 and 2007. At half the size of Carnival's new Excel class ships, Spirit class ships were built to withstand all types of weather. These ships aren't just for sailing to the sunny Caribbean. Spirit class ships are typically used for far-flung itineraries because of the structural design, the versatility on the amenities, and the ability to dock in smaller ports. With pools that can can be covered with retractable glass, you can find spirit class ships sailing in locations like Alaska where the weather is not always warm for the open deck swimming. Despite their smaller size, Carnival has outfitted the spirit class ships with a surprising number of signature amenities. These cruise ships will still have water slides, miniature golf, plenty of pools, and even an adults only serenity area. You'll also find Guy's Burger Joint, Pizza Pirate, and Carnival's Steakhouse. And finally, let's move into the oldest and dwindling class, the Fantasy Class Ships, which includes Carnival Elation, Carnival Paradise, and just recently, Carnival Ecstasy, which retired. The oldest and smallest ships in Carnival's fleet are found in the Fantasy Class. With the implications of COVID-19 in 2020, Carnival had already started to phase out its Fantasy Class ships, and before the pandemic, Carnival still had eight Fantasy Class ships that were still sailing for the cruise line, but during the pandemic, Carnival decided decided to sell four of these ships and they plan to retire the remaining very soon. As the ships were built originally in 1990, they are substantially smaller than most cruise ships that are sailing today. Weighing just 70,000 gross tons, fantasy class ships are designed to sail with around 2,000 passengers. These smaller ships work well in ports like Mobile, Alabama that likely couldn't support a larger ship. In October 2022, Carnival Ecstasy set sail on its final journey and it will soon head off to the scrapyard for its retirement. Earlier in 2022, Carnival Sensation also left the fleet, which left just two more fantasy class ships sailing for Carnival. Even though fantasy class ships are small, Carnival has done an excellent job of outfitting the ships with lots of amenities. You'll be able to find Guy's Burger Joint, Pizza Pirate, and Carnival Deli for dining options, and you'll even be able to find the adults only serenity area and a water park. Fantasy class ships really showcase their age when it comes to the number of balconies on board though because the ships are so intimately sized and they're built before balconies were wildly popular for cruises there are only a limited number of balconies available all right carnival fans comment below what your favorite class of ship is and whether you're going to be sailing on the new carnival celebration with me at the end of november super excited to experience a mega ship for carnival and try all of these fun eateries that are going to be debuting make sure also that you like and subscribe to cruise blog so you can get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks for watching everybody and happy cruising.